Well, we're going to talk about a little movie review. You didn't get a chance to see Casper, Bill. Um, I don't know if mm. that, that's good or bad. <laughs> oh, I think it's bad. I've got I I have uh, two kids who have been watching the commercials on television. Yeah, and of course, I guess Seven Up is involved quite heavily with the promotion of the movie. Anyway, Pe- Pepsi. Yeah, is it Pepsi? Pepsi. I, yeah. one, one of the one of the soda companies. Anyway. And, yeah. And uh, also Pizza Hut too. Well, even my wife uh, is is looking forward to seeing this because she. Uh, she waxes nostalgic about Casper from really? her childhood. So okay, now see, I, I watched Casper a little bit when I was a kid, but uh, there was I like the other ones, some of the other ones better. But anyway, yeah, we got, uh, me too. The ones that were violent, Combat Kelly, and <laughs> <laughs> well, the, like what uh, Mark Frost was playing the other day too, uh, uh, Johnny Quest. Johnny Quest. There yeah, the go. theme to Johnny yeah. Quest. He was playing that. That brought back a lot of memories. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we got Sherry Wilson on the line. She went and saw the movie. Yeah. Okay, Sherry, I'm. Yeah. I'm Okay, there you are. You're a little louder now. Okay, I have two comments. Okay. There's an airline that caters specifically to smokers, and Jimmy Page did not write smoking in the boys' room. Well, I didn't say he wrote smoking <laughs> in the boys' room. That was, that was Brownsville Station that did it yeah. originally. Yeah. yeah, I think there was, there was another group, a rock group, that did it also. But now we're going to ask more trivia questions that people have already been calling to tell us who was the, uh, the, the lead in, which Bill would know this. Who played the oh, lead? Oh, is that the trivia question? It, we can use it as a trivia question because oh, okay, I, I, I know so what it is now. I know what it is now. I won't say it if that is. Yeah, because I, I know what it is now, and I think you do too, right? Yeah. You remembered it now? I thought of it. Okay. So we'll use it as a trivia question. So everybody can be thinking about that right now. Who is the, who played uh, Gomez Adams in The Adams Family, the movie? Not the, because one, one, somebody called me and said uh, yeah, yeah, John, John Aston. Aston. The TV show. Yeah, the TV show, but we're talking about the movie. Okay, so that'll be the trivia question. So you can already think about that, and we'll take probably call on number four or five when we get done with movie review. But not yet. Not yet. Okay, now, one quick thing here. We have someone else helping out with the movie review. Um, on the other phone with me is Kim Alderink. Oh, so you get... She's going to give the youth impression. <laughs> <laughs> I got some youth impressions, too, because from, from five to 13. Well, she's that... 16. So we okay, okay so we got all, we got the whole scale then, yeah. and we won't, we won't tell how old that you and I are. <laughs> we'll leave <laughs> well, that I'm one. An old fart. We'll just say that. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> okay, so who wants to start? What about Casper the Friendly Ghost. Okay, well she's pointing at me, so I guess it's my turn. Okay. Um, I liked it. It works on two levels. I think kids would like it, and there's a lot of um, cameos that you go, oh look, and then yeah. he's gone or she's gone, and. Uh, um, there's a lot of jokes that are geared more toward the adult. There's a lot of cameos. So I was kind of surprised about that because, I mean, there's some big stars. You got, what, uh, Clint Eastwood? Uh, That's who the first mirror... I couldn't uh, remember who the first face in the mirror uh, was. No, don't talk Clint about Eastwood, that. Okay. Anyway, Clint Eastwood, there was Roger, Rod- Rodney, Rodney Dangerfield. Dangerfield. Also, uh, Mel Gibson. Uh-huh. Um, oh, geez, who else was in there? There was a couple other ones, too, that just kind of surprised me that were in there. Oh, oh, oh the guy from Ghostbusters, Dan Aykroyd. Uh-huh. Dan Aykroyd and, was in there. Uh, the first one that came out of the house. Um, oh, Guido Sarducci. Yeah, Father Guido Sarducci. Yeah, he was in there also. So there's a lot of a lot of different people in the movie, that's for sure. So, and there's um, even a, someone's flipping channels on the TV, and they stop on a cartoon, and it's from Casper, Casper the, the, the Friendly, friendly Ghost. Yeah. A, about the time you go, oh, I know what that's from, then they turn the yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah. He flipped. The flipped. Casper kids flipped it. Catch that. Casper was watching, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. And then he came across the. Uh, he went high tech. The the go yeah he came <laughs> came across the, the ghost uh, therapist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's Bill what Pullman. it was, a ghost therapist, and then of course that his daughter was. Cat. Uh, uh, okay, cat, and that was um what was her name again? Uh, Christina. Christina Ricky. Rick, Ricky, okay. And so, anyway, she she, she did a, a pretty good job in this. I was I was pretty impressed by her. She, she's she's not a bad actress for uh, fifteen years old. I mean, she in the last movie that she played, like I say, with the Adams family, she was uh, pretty pretty decent in that too. She's she reminds me of remember um, I'm trying to think of the Why Not a Writer, the one from when she, she played the uh, movie um, uh, Beetlejuice. Why Not a Writer? Was she in that one? Yeah, she was in she was in Beetlejuice. In I, I think I it was remember. like her first that was like her first role. I think was in Beetlejuice. She played like a fifteen year old. She was a spoiled brat, wasn't she? Yeah, but I mean, she was that same type. She had that same look about her. Yeah, well, <laughs> kind of spooky, you know. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so she was very good in it. I thought myself, and uh, the movie itself was was entertaining. I mean, but it was more for the kids, I think. Well, yeah, it was more for the kids, but there was enough jokes in there to and keep the adults happy. That I laughed at, at some of the stuff. Okay. Now I tell you, I had, I had a little negative with it though, because because uh, I said I had my five-year-old with me. I didn't. I didn't even notice the rating. Was it PG-13 
or was it PG no, or what it was, was it? It was PG. Because I mean, there's some language in there that I didn't think was necessary. Did you did you uh, hear that or not? Uh, I don't remember, but okay. I don't have little kids, so. Well, I know, but I guess that's that. why it struck me because there was some language in there that I was I really didn't think was necessary. I mean, for it was basically a kids movie. I remember you know ET when that first came out. Um, they had the language. It was kind of just to say this is the, like real life, but uh, you know some of the some of the I don't think the kids need to hear that. I mean, except for that kind of. A I movie. thought the ghost, the three ghost uncles were funny. Yeah, they were, they were pretty funny, and I do, do you when you saw when you saw the end. Do you, do you see sequel? I see sequel. I see part two. Uh, they could if it does well. If it does well, yeah, at the box office. But I mean, they must already plan it to do well. I mean, like I say, with Bill and I were talking about they have. Uh, Pepsi already um, is, is uh, one of the sponsors. Uh, also, Pizza Hut's doing something with it. I mean, you know, so they, they must expect it to be a big movie. Well, it's an Amblin film. Spielberg. Right, Spielberg, exactly. So, as as far as you go, you thought it was uh, yeah, I enjoyed entertaining. It. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much what I thought. Okay, now let's hear from... Who was our... Who was our... Kim? Okay. I really loved it. I was expecting a little kid film when I went, but it wasn't. It was something everybody can enjoy. It was great. Okay, so you would, you're 16, and you and uh, my 13-year-old. Well, I'll, <laughs> yeah. I'll, 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 I'll play the, the little movie review that they did at home yesterday when I uh, put him on the tape recorder. But uh, he really didn't. He thought it was, you know, he thought it was too childish. Blah, 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 blah. But I thought it was entertaining for all ages. But he's a 13-year-old boy. boy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he, he, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be cool for him to say that that movie was fun. Right. That's right. Darn did it! He it's like not the cool. I, yeah, he did. Did he? Yeah, he did. Okay. Well, but, he was 12. <laughs> yeah, he was 12 then. There you go. <laughs> okay. So as far as, as we all pretty much give it a, a thumbs up then. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, let me play the uh, quick, quick movie review from the kids, and uh, and then we'll do a little trivia, okay? Okay. So hold on. Okay. Yeah, we just got through seeing Casper the Friendly Ghost. And Amanda Louise Osborne is five years old, and she wants to tell you what she thought of it. What did you think of Casper with? Mm. Oh, that was good. Thank you very much. Nathan, what do you think? What do you think of Casper? I thought it was good. What did you like about it? Uh, I thought it had some pretty cool special effects. Did you think it was a good movie, though? Yeah, it was funny. And did you like the ending? Yeah, the ending was pretty good. you think there's going to be more Caspers? Maybe. I think there's going to be more Caspers. I think we're just going to see part two. What do you think? I liked it about the house. What about the house? Um, I liked when the two, three ghosts came out. Yeah? Did it scare you? No. No? How come you were holding my neck real tight then? Just because you love me? Oh, okay. What about you? Mm -hmm. You gonna say anything? Uh, I thought it was more for a kid. Oh, okay. how old are you? 13. And you didn't like it at all? No. Why didn't you like it? It was boring. You thought it was boring? Yeah. You didn't even like the special effects? It was alright. Did you like the house? I thought it was kind of old. It's cool. <laughs> the house is awesome. So you like the house too? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Okay. Little big. Is there anything else you want to say about the, the movie? Uh, I recommend it. It's good. Oh. Okay. I'm 11. Yeah. Okay, man. What do you want to say? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that pretty much sums it up right there. <laughs> yeah, that last uh, statement by Amanda pretty much said it all. Anyway, yeah, I, as you can tell, my my 13 year old Peter, he just wanted to be. It was it wasn't cool enough for him. It wasn't cool. But anyway, as far as far as it goes, we all think that it was a pretty decent movie, right? Yep. We all give it a, uh, oh, I don't know, an applaud. I uh, I, I lost my 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 wonderful drum roll here. <laughs> I can't find my we drum roll. Should we applaud over the phone? Huh? Should we applaud over the phone? Sure, go ahead because I lost my drum roll. Somebody <laughs> took my drum roll. <laughs> there we go. That was good. That was good. Oh, here it is. I found it. But that was good enough. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta have my drum roll. Well, everybody needs a good drum roll or That's a right. good rim shot. Yeah, okay. For when you tell a joke. Okay, so we all, all except for my 13-year-old, applauded the movie. 
But uh, like I say, I think he just didn't applaud it because to him it wasn't cool. It wasn't cool anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's not Die Hard. <laughs> well, yeah, that was it because he loved Die Hard with a Vengeance. We saw that last week. But yeah. anyway. Okay, well, uh, I think we should, a trivia question, we should we should ask that. What do you think? Because we've got the uh, AAA movie report okay, coming up. Okay, that one shouldn't be too hard to get a win or two. Okay, the, one that, the movie that we're trying to think of, okay, we thought of the movie was Adam's Family, of course, and the uh, person who played Gomez in the movie, not the not the TV series, but the movie. Okay, name name him. He just died recently, and his last movie was um, you know Street Fighter. It seems like there was another movie after that one, but I didn't get to see it. So what with him? With Ra with, yes, uh, with the gentleman? Ah, <laughs> I, you know, I almost said his name too. I almost did too. <laughs> okay, so we're taking call number three on this answer: seven nine eight twenty two twenty two, and answer us: uh, Who is the gentleman who played uh, John Adams in the Adams Family movie? Gomez Adams. Gomez Adams. I'm sorry. Oh, that's John Adams was, John, John, John Aston was the first. <laughs> okay, I'm getting totally confused here, so I think I'll take the phone now. Thanks for talking with me, Sherry. All right, bye. Uh, bye. <laughs> okay, I think I think I got the answer, uh, the question right. I don't know. Anyway, so caller number three will hit, <laughs> will win. And we'll talk with.